Hi, I'm Reverend Sue Browning, and I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of what we talked about this past Sunday at our service. Our topic was that love your enemy thing. And the basic question we asked together was, is it worth it? Is it worth our time to try to love our enemy? Jesus had teed up the need to love our enemy and pray for our persecutors in his Sermon on the Mount. It's basically under an underlying premise that love has to have more power than hate. It really matters that love have more power than hate. And I think it's important right up front to talk about the type of love we were talking about. The love we're talking about is not a reciprocal, either a romantic love or a friendship love. It's not even about liking the other individual. It's a different type of love. The Greeks would call it agape love, and it has to do with being unconditionally committed to recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of the other. It's not a love that is, is earned. It's, it's not a love that you can lose. It's, it, it's, a, it's a different way to think about love, but I think that is what is behind love your enemy. It's a love that comes with deep tradition of resistance, of, resist, of using love to push out hatred, to resist oppression. It's, it's hard to buy into this idea. It's easy to be skeptical and, and almost want to detach, to not really invest in this. But I think then we miss the potential. We miss the potential of this type of love, and we miss part of what we talked about during the service is the living into the premise that all of us need all of us to make it was a phrase coined by um, several of my colleagues, and I think it really captures what it means to create the community we dream about. What if love of enemy is the path to that community? What if love of enemy takes us to a place where all are valued, all have the resources they need, the care they need, and people take care of one another? That's the community we talk about. Sometimes when we reference the beloved community, that is that community. It is a fiercely inclusive community. It's not a cozy place of like-minded people getting together, but it is a place where everyone is free from the bondages of hate. It's a place that is ever-changing and ever-inclusive. What are the steps it takes to work towards love of enemy? What are the questions that the, the concept, the topic brings forward for you? I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know about the questions and where else we might take this topic. It feels important in today's times. May the love guide your week. Blessings all.